Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are going to build a rocking chair that I received from Lubona. L-U-B-O-N-A. Um, just to be transparent, it was sent to me free, but the opinions are of my own. So we are going to build this together start to finish. Well, probably not the whole thing. Ugh. So the box is heavy. We'll start there. I'm sure my delivery people were not happy about this. Oops, I'm opening it upside down, but whatever. We gotta get all the pieces out. So I'm gonna fast forward and get all these pieces out for us. Okay, if I didn't mention, it's an outdoor um, rocking chair. So it's going to go on my back patio. So you get all the pieces. They're labeled with letters. You get directions, and then you get a bag with all of the tools and screws and all the things that you need. So first thing I'm going to do, oh, I like this. The so last time it was an Allen wrench which is terrible on your hands. This is gonna be fantastic to screw everything in. And it's all one size. And then all of the screws are in labeled bags. So I'm just going to open the bags, but I'm not taking the screws out of the labeled bag because they all have a label on them. Right, right. So we have AABB. I wonder if I can just rip it open. Nope. FF. And like this one, you just literally get two screws. But I like that everything is individually packaged. Even the red string, so you know not to throw that away. And the letters peel off. Oh, this one has its own... Allen wrench in it. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh, I can use a drill on most of these. No, not most of them. Boo. I got excited for nothing. I only need this little screwdriver for this. The rest of these Allen wrench. And they are terrible on your hands. If they could make a wrench like that, would be great. And then even these have the bolts and the washers with the screws. Everything is very handy for you. If you've ever built anything from Ikea, that's basically what this is. Um, okay, I don't think I'm gonna need the scissors or that. And then we'll start. I finished step one, which was putting the rockers on. Now step two, this is the seat, and I need to put piece J on the back of the seat, right? And everything comes and these little stickers come off real easy. And most pieces are labeled like, to see this yellow that says front. So I know that's the front. But also, well, there's no other place this can go. And this is the one time I get to use the actual screwdriver. Ugh, my hands are already sore. That's going to be my one recommendation, is that they send better tools to put this together. All right, I got that in there. And oh, I'm not even on camera here. I'm just screwing. If this was more pieces like this, I would get my drill out because I have screwdriver set for it, but it's literally four screws. So, all right, let's get this piece on and we'll come back for step three. Okay, this is step three and we're putting the top headrest on here. So I just, I already screwed the bottom on here. 
I mean, this is literally like just building Legos, to be honest. What I will say is when you're doing this, don't tighten your one screw and then the other. You got to go back and forth, right? Because if you don't, you'll get it too taut in one end and not the other. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm putting these down, kind of lining them up with their hole. And then I'm just doing this one a little bit. Right, and then I'm gonna come over here and do this one a little bit till it gets to the point where it's almost tight. And then we'll go back and forth. Because if I tighten one end down too much, the other end, it may not tighten evenly. So there's that. And this is the back and the headrest. All right, and take Okay. Let me get the back set up. It's done. Is that not, I'm, I have stuff all over my living room. Is that not fantastic? It is amazing. I love it. They come in two chair sets with the matching little coffee table or end table that sits in between them. It is so sturdy. The one thing I don't love are the silver screws, but quite frankly, it's not sitting in my living room. It's gonna be outdoors, so I'm not mad at all. I would just say that little detail. But other than that, I love it. The link is down below. Have a great one, bye.